Hi friends, my name is Jenna. Recently, I quit my bedside nursing job for a much healthier position as a traveling nurse. During my training period, I got to visit Salt Lake City, Utah, where I admired the beautiful tree colors and chase waterfalls. Come travel with me. sitting at Phoenix Sky Harbor in this cozy little nook um, because my flight's delayed. And I'm flying southwest to Salt Lake City solo. And I haven't done a solo trip in a really long time. I don't think I've ever done a solo trip to be honest. So I'm excited. Um, it's for work but I have a couple days that I get to do whatever I want. Um, so I'm really excited to explore a little bit of Utah. I've never been. Um, and then learn a little bit more about my, my new job. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how this flight goes <laughs> with it being delayed an extra hour um, and it being so busy here. So I got my breakfast, I got my agua, and I got a good book. So I'm uh, excited. So I just made it to my hotel in Salt Lake City. It's more like Sandy, Utah. Um, but let me give you, give you the tour. A full kitchen. I've got a little desk that I can work at. I see a little TV and wardrobe. I think I'm gonna go ahead and set up all my stuff because I'm gonna be here for about two weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpack a little bit, make it feel like home. Little dining table, closet, and then a beautiful view. Oh my God, look at that. This is like, this is so amazing. I, Utah has just blown me out of the water. I've never seen trees that are red or green or yellow. Well, I guess green, but I've never seen trees that are red and yellow. This is all new to me. Like I've never, there's snow on the mountains. Oh, it's just beautiful here. I, I love Utah so far. <laughs> if you're from Utah, you're very lucky. my hotel lobby literally right here is this gorgeous mountain the snow on it I'm obsessed honestly Yes, so I went to Handel's, my popular request. I got Grand Central Station and cookie dough. Here's the first bite. Mmm, that's amazing. All right, so I'm enjoying this little solo trip. I feel like you get to see more of my personality because I don't really talk on my other vlogs, but here I have nobody else to talk to, so here are the only ones I'm gonna to talk to. I went to this place called Pizza Limon. They have delicious pear lemonade, and I also showed you my little pear uh, um, pizza. It wasn't a bad price. I also got some ice cream from Handel's, but it's been getting to um, melt. And then I just, kind of stocked up at Walmart for some stuff that I feel like would be good to have for work. Um, little quick meals. And then, of course, how, how do you uh, start a new job without apple cider? The craziest part about travel nursing, um, for those of you who are new here, I used to be a travel nurse. I did it for a whole year. I was working in COVID, COVID ICU, um, neuro, um, all kinds of stuff. And I really, really loved um, getting out there and meeting new people in the field. But hospital nursing, especially COVID nursing, is such a drag. Um, <laughs> it made me burn out so fast. And then the um, inevitabil inevitability of like being canceled um, kind of dragged on me too because I got canceled twice. I had two contracts, one in Missouri and one in Mesa. 
um, that got canceled last minute. I had all my like stuff, my you know apartment stuff was already in, in order. And these are 13 week contracts that I was with. So that was kind of scary and uh, I was away, away from my family a lot. And so I feel like this position is amazing. It's an aesthetic nurse position. Um, so it's a way more relaxed and stress-free. Um, and the coolest part is that the contracts are really, really short sometimes four days, two weeks. It'll give me more time with my family and I get to explore little places. I think when you're in one spot by yourself for so long, like I was in New Orleans for 13 weeks, all you wanna do is just stay in bed all day. So um, there's creepy noises coming out from the hallway. Yeah, so be being um, here just for a few days off I feel like will force me to get out of the house more on my days off and I'll just be happier so could be just a new job you know the excitement of it but I'm excited to uh, take you guys along and we'll um, see what we get up to here in Utah I spent the rest of the day just reading and relaxing before my very first day of work I just got my little breakfast for today. First day of work. I decided to go ahead and go down to the hotel breakfast. I'm low key disappointed they don't have waffles. They have the waffle maker, we just got the waffles. I guess COVID causes some kind of come through waffles. But um, So today it is Cheerios and blueberry muffins for me. Today is the first day of work. I feel excited. I'm ready. And done. First day. All in the books. I got my jammies on. I'm ready to have some. Hold up bubbly even though it's not actually alcohol my little glassy glass here I feel like that was a pretty good first day but I have two days off I'm gonna do a little bit of a cozy little vlog here because uh, it's gonna be raining tomorrow and then I think I might go on a hike the next day to see if I can find a waterfall so see you soon Click. <laughs> cozy. Don't judge me. It's 35 degrees outside and I'm from Arizona where it's 80 right now. So I'm dressed in layers. I'm going to go to the coffee shop for a little bit and hang out there. So it's not quite raining like I thought it would. Um, there's a couple little raindrops, but it's not too bad. Can we just take the time to appreciate how little this car is suited for me? Like, I feel like a child in this car. <laughs> I just, this is all the way down that I could take it um, without it like impeding my vision of the um, speedometer and all of that. So uh, we're just gonna work with it. Yeah, let's go coffee shopping. <laughs> I spent nearly the entire day at Honeysuckle Coffee Shop working on various projects. The coffee and breakfast was so good, I didn't even video it. After a lovely coffee shop day, I went to go admire the colors of fall. next morning I woke up way early to go get breakfast and then head out to do a hike. So I'm going to be starting.
riding this lovely little trail here. It's apparently pretty easy, so we'll see how it goes. I already see stairs, so it's called Rocky Mouth Trailhead. Um, apparently it's got a really pretty waterfall, so that's what I'm chasing today. You, but all right, we'll do it. been practicing with my new camera, um, making <clears throat> little pictures and videos here. Um, I learned how to do the shutter speed to make the smooth waterfall effect. This waterfall is not like super grand, so I don't think it's going to turn out that spectacular. But I'm still excited. I'm learning about this new camera um, everywhere I go, and I am just so thankful to be on this journey and to be out here all alone in the wilderness. I do feel like I'm being watched though. Mountain lions? Bye waterfall. On my way back I found this little bridge and I kind of want to go down there because it reminds me of Halloween Town. <laughs> I just, there's like no way down there so I don't know which way to go. I'm noticing these little tracks. I think they might be deer. I definitely would recommend it. It's really easy. A little bit of steepness, but I don't think that's one that I can handle it just fine. And I'm at higher elevation. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna head back right now and my shoes are thoroughly wet. I should have known to bring socks with um, going on a waterfall trail, but <laughs> I wasn't thinking. So I think I'm gonna go back, get some water and maybe something to eat because I'm a little bit hungry. I had a big breakfast, but I just, I'm still hungry. I just had a delicious lunch at Vessel Kitchen. Oh my goodness. Mm, absolutely delicious. I'm definitely going back there before I leave Utah. Uh, but now I am at none other than Target, so I can get some shirts for my scrubs and then We'll kind of go from there. I think I'm just going to head back to the hotel and work on some vlogs and writing and then maybe just relax for the rest of the night.